Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to see how to win at rock, paper, scissors. Although you've probably been playing rock, paper, scissors forever, this may be the first time you've seen it in a strategic form. But you'll notice it has all the correct properties of the game. If both players play the same strategy, no one gets anything. Meanwhile, paper beats rock, rock beats scissors, and scissors beats paper. You get one point for winning and negative one point for losing, so you don't get any bonuses for winning with any particular strategy. That is, you don't care how you win, you just want to win. Now, for those of you who are experts at this game, you probably already have an intuition that the Nash Equilibrium is for both players to randomize their strategy among all three options with equal probability. That is, you play rock, paper, and scissors, each with probability one-third. Let's use the rules of Nash Equilibria we've learned in previous videos to confirm this. So what is a mixed strategy in Equilibrium? Well, a mixed strategy is played in a mixed strategy Nash Equilibrium if and only if that mixed strategy makes the opponent indifferent between all of his pure strategies. So you might be asking yourself, what does that mean? Well, if I'm playing a mixed strategy that has me play each of my pure strategies, each of my pure strategies with probability one third, or one third rock, one third paper, and one third scissors, my opponent would need to have the same payoff if he played rock, paper, or scissors all the time, as in a pure strategy. Let's do some quick calculations here. If player two plays rock, she ties a third of the time against rock, she loses a third of the time against paper, and she wins a third of the time against scissors. So if we add zero plus one third plus negative one third, we get zero. Consequently, if this probability distribution can be played in equilibrium for player one, player two must also earn zero on average, or her expected utility must be zero if she played paper or scissors as a pure strategy. Let's check paper. If player two plays paper, she wins a third of the time against rock, she ties a third of the time against paper, and she loses a third of the time to scissors. Again, adding zero plus one third plus negative one third yields zero, so we're looking good here. The last thing we need to do is check on scissors. If player two plays scissors, she loses a third of the time to rock, she wins a third of the time against paper, and she draws a third of the time against scissors. Again, this adds up to zero, so in fact we have an equilibrium. And due to our rules of symmetry, we already know that player two will play the same mixed strategy in equilibrium as well. So congratulations, we found our equilibrium to rock, paper, scissors. However, we haven't proven that this is the unique equilibrium. There might be one or more equilibria to this game, but proving that there isn't is a little bit more involved. In addition, suppose I change the payoffs to look like this. Whereas we could intuitively guess the mixed strategy for a normal game of rock, paper, scissors, we can't quite do that here. In future videos, I'll go over how to handle these two problems.